Mike Anthony's summons test. We're going to go forward um, using the Tesla app. I got two other means of stopping the car here. First, we're going to go straight forward. Should stop at about 12 inches according to the settings I have on the vehicle. Okay, spot on, just about 12 inches. Yep. Okay, let's back her up. Okay, come come towards me. Let's do the uh, one of the corner the side sensors to see if the car will drive around you. Right here. Yep. All right. All right. Now we're gonna see if the car will attempt to circumvent Mike, and instead go for his F-150. Hey. And yep, it's turning. The car is turning around Mike. I'm trying not to move my body. Right now, Mike's invisible to the uh, sonar, and now he's coming back into sonar range. And the car actually just drove around Mike. Let's turn my camera, and let's see if it'll drive around his F-150. Sure as heck. Tell me if I gotta stop it. And that's actually the limitation of the uh, summons distance at this time. Stop it. He's looking half away from my uh, front side. Yep. No, it won't. Tesla changed the firmware. Now we can no longer do multiple summons in a row. So not only did that, that actually was improved because I've tested that in the past and it would not go to that length and steer that much to go around something. Huh. Uh, so that was, it went about, it actually steered about two feet to the other side of Mike. Otherwise he would have hit that, that uh, lower passenger front bumper. Um, it was lined up almost dead center with, okay, I might as well just walk over to the car. Or if I was smart, I would have just had the car come back to us. Let's just talk about this just a little bit here. Okay, Mike was lined up. We got six sensors on each side of the vehicle for the sonar. One, two, three, and then, of course, opposite on the other side. Mike was lined up with this one right here. So not the very edge, but right here. So the car actually drove approximately one foot to get away from Mike and then another foot for the 12 inch clearance setting that I have. And then it kind of evened out. Following that, it was actually lined up pretty good with Mike's F-150 and it turned and it started going to go around. We're about a little bit, may, or maybe about a foot and a half distance from the F-150, and that's when, at the point where the summons 40-foot maximum distance ran out. I got an idea. I'm gonna stand, um, you're still rolling, right? Yeah. I'm gonna stand in between these two sensors right here to see if it'll still, I'm gonna stand closer to the center to see if it'll still uh, turn around me, and maybe you can actually sit, or stand, uh, a foot closer to the house and see if maybe it could get a little further than the, where we're at now. Let's try that. I'm not following you. Well, well here, put the, put the set, reset it back yep. where it was out there. You might have to get in it. No. Oh, it looks like they, they figured out the uh, DRL flicker with the cameras. go back to its original position. Well, original distance. Or we'll just keep going into the street this time. <laughs> Looks like we angered it. Okay, um, all right, so what are your thoughts? Okay, so I'm gonna stand in between the, uh, the two sensors. I don't know which, the, there's one on the Okay, so we've got one, two, three. So you're gonna stand between two and three? Yeah, and okay. then I was wanting to see, because if we're closer And then here, you want me to stand towards the side by number one? No, no, I want you to just stand, like, maybe, just to see if, if, because you get a 40 foot max distance. Yeah. Stand maybe closer to the house for you, because it's reading that's going to be closer to the car. See if it'll maybe go a little further. That makes sense? Oh, it won't, it won't break the 40 foot distance, it'll just stop. No, I know, that's what I'm saying, standing closer than 40 foot. Oh, okay. Yeah, just, just. So you want me on that side? No, just, well, I guess, yeah. But, see uh, just, see just, if it'll do, like, a fish turn. Okay. Yeah? 
Yeah. Okay, well then I'll stand on this side. You can do that one. Okay. What do you want to stand? A little bit. Keep going and over a little bit to see if it'll it'll kind of go right we, go around us. Okay, oh. it's turning that way. See if it'll turn around. Uh, no, it knows. Yeah, it knows it, it might hit hit a wall over here, even though it can't sense me anymore at this position. It's almost like it remembers that it, something was there. Yeah. Which I don't see why it wouldn't remember. I mean, that'd be. That's pretty okay. crazy. I got an idea. Let's bring it back, and I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Let's go back to the original position. You might have to get in the car for that. Okay. And let's go back to where we were. I'm going to stand in between two and three, and then I want you to stand like maybe three or four feet closer to the house. All right, I'll, I'll back it up, and then you just point exactly where you want me to stand. All right. All right. So theoretically, right off the bat, it should move around me right now. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, good. Okay. It started right at its distance limitation, four feet limitation on sonar 1.0. Watch your toes. I know, I don't. The new sonar's got an eight foot distance. So I'm trying not to move my feet. I want it to go around me. And drive past your car? Yeah. Well, it's already doing it. That side's already weird. Yeah. Well, it still might keep it, probably keeping the distance. It's turning to the right. Yeah. Now it's evening out. Because it can't navigate as well in reverse, can't steer as, as well. Yep, that's it. At least it stopped. That's the most important thing that it stopped. It saw me. It said, nope. Yeah. Oh, I think they about to prove their tests. Yeah. Let's see. I'm going to back it up into the shade. Smile, cheese. <laughs>